All right, it is January 2021, and I am at the Peters Trailhead in the Superstition Wilderness. Um, actually, already three miles into today's hike. Uh, so I road walked about three miles in uh, from the Tortilla Trailhead where my car is parked. I'm gonna be um, hiking the remainder six miles of today's nine mile hike um, out to the Brad's Canyon, a Brad's water area where I'm gonna camp for tonight. I am going to be looping around from there to the Red Tanks Divide area down into Coffee Flat and Randolph Canyon. And then from there, I'm going to be heading up the JF Trail. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of climbing on the second day up to the Tortilla Pass area and then we'll be taking the JF Trail back to the car. Joining up with Hooey Bacon Trail, number 111, and that's this way. Okay, I'm about five and a half miles in to today's nine mile hike. And I just crossed uh, Cedar Basin Canyon, I believe. So I'm uh, now beginning the long climb up to uh, Horse Ridge, which is the big climb of the day. And um, I think this is called Nighthawk Spring. And it looks like there is amazingly water dripping out of the pipe down here. So kind of have to scramble a little bit, but it's not very much water. Um, hard to see on camera, but yeah, there's actually a pipe that runs along the length of this canyon. It goes down to a spring box. And when I checked that spring box, it was dry. Hey, I'm almost getting up to the top of the pass, which is straight ahead of us behind this tree. Hey, 
at him at the top of Horse Ridge. So uh, now I got to descend, and I'm gonna go over a couple small climbs still, but I think I got about um, about four miles to go to get to Brad's water. Uh, so yeah, I've uh, filmed this scene before. Uh, right behind me here is Four Peaks. Down there is Fish Creek Canyon. And uh, straight ahead, kind of in between those two things, is the area that I popped out of when I started the hike on FR213. So now I gotta go this way. And uh, yeah, let's go. This section through here is always a nasty, burnt up calf clawed mess. It's always difficult to figure out where the trail goes through here. Still a ton of old fire burn left. These trees are gonna take a good decade to recover, in my opinion. But I am creeping through large amounts of cat's claw. Oh, that one hurt. Just to find the trail, which I think is right up over here. Yep. Man, would you look at that. That is Picacho Butte and Coffee Flat Mountain. Alright, I'm coming to the trail junction with the Red Tanks Trail 107. So we're heading off this way towards Brad's Canyon. That out there is Coffee Flat Mountain. Alright, I'm now walking in uh, Upper Labarge Canyon. You kind of follow the drainage for 
a little ways before uh, kind of meeting back up with the trail. And then right after that is where we meet up with Brad's Canyon. This barely live juniper and everything's still dead out here. But yeah, I'm gonna have my turn off for Brad's water or Brad's Canyon rather. So there's always a cairn over here and the actual trail crosses over uh, that way. There's cairns, I don't know if you can see them in the shot. But we are gonna head this way and walk up this canyon drainage about half a mile and then set up camp by the uh, water source. Came out here only I think two or three weeks before this trip just to recon the water source just to make sure but um, like I've come to the conclusion that Brad's water is a perennial kind of always available water source and uh, never goes dry. It appears to be um, an old mine at it that uh, was uh, basically tapped a spring and so they stopped working on it obviously because it filled up with water so but it, uh, it's a boon for us backpackers. So I think I've decided I'm going to try to have a fire tonight. Um, it's been almost a year since I've made a campfire. Um, probably April 2020. It's been quite a while. So uh, we are out of the fire season, out of fire restrictions, and um, like right next to a water source. So, all right, let's go find some water. As you can see. My camp's not far, and uh, there's a kind of a little path through here. It's pretty overgrown, and uh, <laughs> oh, and it's a little spooky. I've never been down here at night. <laughs> water's like, whoop! Just got hung up on some cast claw. The water's right down in here. So, put my headlamp on high, I've got my water here, you can kind of see this sort of a, a cave above me. <laughs> so, it's decent water, and uh, it's getting pretty dark, I'm going to have to make a couple trips too. So this about calls it for the end of day one. Um, today was a pretty cool day. Um, I got through the hiking in about six hours, despite the fact that I was filming. Kind of blazed through it real fast, and um, just really great weather. Uh, not a cloud in the sky, just a sky full of stars tonight. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be going out to uh, down the Red Tanks Divide, and we're gonna be meeting up into Randolph Canyon via Coffee Flat Trail. After that, I'm gonna continue up the Woodbury Trail, connect back up with JF Trail, and I think what I'm going to do is climb all the way up to Tortilla Pass, which is right next to Labarge Mountain. So tomorrow is going to be about 11 miles and about 3,000 feet of elevation gain, so a pretty big day tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to get going and make dinner, so I will see you guys tomorrow.
Good morning. It was a great night last night. Very calm. Pretty dang cold. I think it got down to maybe around 28 or 29 degrees last night. Uh, but I'm trying to get an early start this morning because I got a pretty big day ahead of me. Here's a quick look at the map. So yesterday we started out the Peters Trailhead and then we went down the Hooli Bacon Trail. Um, I think this section here from where I started filming was about uh, six or seven miles. And then we got uh, to the Red Tanks Trail 107. And then I just followed that just a hot minute until we got to Brad's Canyon. Went about half a mile up to Brad's Water. That's where I'm currently camped. Plan for today is to go down the Red Tanks Trail. Once we get up to the Red Tanks Divide, we're gonna go down into Red Tanks Canyon. And there's actually an interesting route through here that goes by Randolph Canyon. It's kind of like off trail. So I'm probably gonna go through there. Um, it's a lot more fun than the actual trail itself. I'm going to connect up with Coffee Flat Trail and follow Fraser Canyon a ways. And this is kind of uphill. I'm going to pass by this JF kind of headquarters or ranch. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Go up by this area. Last time I was out in this area, there was uh, quite a few cows and it was kind of uh, not great. Um, so we'll see what that's like. But uh, then the plan is to continue up this JF Trail here. And uh, I'm gonna plan to camp at Tortilla Pass right here. Um, so this section, um, which is maybe only a mile and a half, I think, has a, like maybe over 1,200 feet of climbing alone. So uh, the whole route today is like 3,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's a pretty crazy day. So I think this is gonna be about an 11 or 12 mile day. So let's go. Yeah, I'm uh, carrying all my water for the next two days, so I've uh, gathered about six liters of water. Um, luckily, I packed my most very ultralight setup that I could cobble together, so um, it's not even that heavy of a pack, and uh, it really increases your camping options out here in the desert if you're willing to carry the water. I found water in Red Tanks Canyon, just a little water pocket, but in a place I would have never even guessed there would be water, so that's pretty cool. There are 
There's some old cowboy relics out here. Okay, I have made it to the Red Tanks Divide, so now I have to go down into Red Tanks Canyon, which is down there. So I am still hiking down Red Tanks Canyon. Uh, this uh, pour off here is almost always uh, flowing with some water and there's usually a pool down here. But uh, not this year because I guess we're kind of in a mega drought so you never really know when there's going to be water out here. Well, I have found some water trickling up the, uh, some of the side canyons off of red tanks. I'm actually off the trail, so I'm sort of a shortcut to avoid some climbing. I am uh, just walking down the canyon bottom. This is Dripping Spring. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it dripping at the moment. It's a lot less than that. But um, yeah, it's nice to see this water out here though. It's very clear as well. Okay, I have made it to the junction with Coffee Flat Trail. So uh, I've taken this uh, that way up that canyon. And I think I still got at least um, three hours of hiking out of me. This is a really long day. I've done this exact hike before, um, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and it is an all day hike.
This coffee flat trail honestly is in pretty bad shape. I'm uh, not going as fast as I'd like. There's some water through here. I've decided I'm gonna try to just follow the canyon bottom because the trail itself is so overgrown with cat's claw. So this is called uh, Fraser Canyon that follows Coffee Flat Trail. And the drainage so far is pretty easy to follow. It wasn't when I started out on this trail. It was actually really bad to the point I couldn't get through, but now the walking is pretty easy. Pretty cool volcanic rock in this canyon. Big kind of overhanging rock wall up here. Gonna be maneuvering around some boulders up here. Kind of surprised this thing is still here. It's kind of like some kind of metal, like um, I think it's a trough or some kind of cargo container. This thing has to have traveled pretty far down this canyon. The JF Ranch is like a mile up, so this thing traveled pretty far. That out there is the JF Ranch. Well, here is JF Ranch or JF Headquarters. I'm not really sure. Um, I guess it's an old Forest Service headquarters, uh, but I think it's now um, a ranch, like privately owned or something. I'm not really sure. So, but uh, yeah, still have a few miles to go before I'm on Woodbury Trail. This is the rarely hiked Woodbury Trail. So this connector is about three quarters of a mile. And then I'm going to uh, connect up with a JF Trail. All right, so now we can see the way that JF Trail is gonna take up the mountain. So the mountain kind of to the left, um, sort of center left is Labarge Mountain. And the pass that we are going up to is right over there. So we're gonna be camping kind of right where my finger is. Okay, I'm heading up JF Trail number 106. Had a little bit of a road walk for a second. There's kind of a windmill and a bunch of piping and some water tanks over here, but no cows today.
Okay, I am just starting the final climb up to Tortilla Pass now. Um, it's about a mile and a half as the bird flies, but I know there will be some switchbacks, so I think it's probably closer to two miles. And I have about an hour and a half of light left, so there is a strong possibility I'll be finishing up this hike in the dark. Got about 15 minutes left of the last light. I think I'm almost to the pass where we're gonna camp at. All right, I've made it up to Tortilla Pass. So there's a campsite like right here. Man, it's late, it's cold. I'm ready for some food. I think that last 1,200 feet of climbing happens all in the last mile, so it's quite steep. And um, yeah, I'm happy to be done with the climbing because um, almost all the rest of the hiking tomorrow is uh, downhill, at least back to the road. Uh, anyway, I think that calls it a night uh, for night number two. See you tomorrow. Good morning, it is day three. Um, I decided to sleep in this morning. Is uh, yeah, that was tough hiking yesterday, so actually got a full night of sleep last night. Uh -huh. Sun is almost completely up. I'm just sick of the cold. I'm gonna wait until the sun is up, make breakfast after that. All right, I guess it's time to get up. Okay, so let's. Go check out the view. There's gonna be a bunch of sun in the shot, but uh, that's okay. All right, one last look at the map for this trip. So uh, right now I'm camped way up high up here on Tortilla Pass. And the idea for today is I'm gonna start off on this JF Trail. Actually, that's the Trail 106 that we're gonna be on the entire time today. Um, there, there's gonna be a little bit of climbing to start off with right over here, and I think we're gonna top out in this area. And then the rest of it, I believe, is almost all downhill all the way back. And there's some cool ridge lines we're gonna see here. Um, we're gonna pass by this Lost Dutch Canyon area, and we're gonna have some really good views of like the Superstition Ridge Line going that way. And then we're gonna pass by and have a really good view of Fish Creek Canyon off to the north. So this is a pretty scenic day. And um, I think because it's all downhill, I'm expecting pretty easy hiking. Uh, today is almost all downhill. Uh, so I think we're gonna drop almost 3,000 feet in elevation today. So anyway, let's go.
so many different colors in these rocks. Everything from yellow to green to brown to red. Wow, what a view. Four peaks in the distance. All right, I uh, finished the little climb at the start of JF Trail, and now I am uh, sort of trending downhill for the next few miles. Basically all the way down to the Jeep Road is gonna be downhill, and it's gonna kinda follow a, a ridge line that's pretty scenic. Yeah, this uh, terrain's kind of surprisingly tricky because it's off camber and you're walking on this uh, dry grass. It kind of slips out under your feet, so I have to go kind of slow. So the mountain's way out there in the center of the camera frame, kind of in the background. That is the Tortilla Mountain Complex where Peter's Trail goes up by. So way, way out there in the background are the Sierra Ancha Mountains. And here is a pretty good view of the Four Peaks. Okay, so looking to the left of the trail, you can see the whole Superstition Ridge Line in the background. Um, so that's where the flat iron hike is and the Peralta Canyon hike follows this side of it and behind that range is the city of uh, Mesa, Apache Junction and behind that's Phoenix. And then um, go in this direction, you can actually almost make out Apache Junction way out there. And then going this way, we are heading back down towards the uh, Tortilla Mountain Complex and we are going to be eventually joining back up with Huli Bacon Trail.
That is a pretty neat looking canyon out there. I don't know what that's called. Some neat uh, volcanic rocks out here. This has to be one of the most remote trails out here. So the best thing so far about JF Trail is little to no cat claw, almost none. And so I'm actually moving pretty fast along this trail. And uh, the grades uphill are really pretty gentle and there's been a lot of downhill so far. So it's just been quite pleasant hiking today compared to the last couple days. Looks like people get plenty of target practice out here. Got a pretty wild view of the whole Tortilla Mountain complex. And uh, out this way is where we're going towards the trailhead. There's the four peaks and then the top of the uh, hill that forms the wall of Fish Creek Canyon. All right, I am back to Peter's Trailhead. So I'm, I think I'm gonna call it quits here. Um, I still got a road walk uh, three miles uh, down the Jeep road to get back to my car. Uh, but 
Uh, yeah, this was a pretty awesome trip. I uh, really enjoyed it. Um, the last time I did this exact route was like 2019 and it was in some pretty terrible uh, storms. So um, on this trip, the weather was just perfect. I couldn't have asked for better weather. Um, just like a light breeze to calm skies and just a, a few wispy clouds here and there. Just, just perfect weather. I think it got down to probably around freezing both nights or maybe just a little bit above. And I think the highs during the day were in the high 60s. So um, just doesn't get any better than that. So, um, but uh, the day two route, what I did yesterday was uh, so tough, I would actually um, probably break it up into two days if I did it at all. Um, so I had done it once before and um, it was every bit as tough as I remember. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, I think that calls it quits for this trip. So I will see you guys on the next one. Like if you like and subscribe for more. Later.